It's the Philippines' largest dried fruit producer and proudly bears the country's name as its brand. ProFood International Corporation is the biggest buyer of mangoes in the Philippines. Its founder, Justin Uy, the fourth child among 11 siblings, began delving into business at the age of 15 to help augment the income of his father, Galo D. Uy, who was a cigarette distributor, and his mother, Marcela C. Uy, who was a housewife. But the teen's initial foray into entrepreneurship was a series of failed ventures. Tell us how, how you began. Uh, I understand that you were in some failed business ventures, but you didn't give up on entrepreneurship. I was in a shell scrap industry, but found out shell scrap is a six month business only. During winter months, everybody put on a coat, so th there's no more business. I went into poultry, uh, egg layers, but found out after raising a thousand hens, we don't have the money to expand because you have to raise from one day old chick to five months before they start laying eggs. So I found mango, so much mango available on that time. In fact, I can tell the farmers, can you give me a nine, three months credit term? I'll pay you once I sold my product. And that's the reason why I go into mango. Because this, this business, you can, I, you can do it at the kitchen. You can peel with an ordinary peeler. You can cook in a kettle. You can dry under the sun. But at that time, you were late entrant. I mean, there were others who were already doing these dried mangoes. I mean, you weren't the first. We're the newest of all of them, if you will see in the market. All of them have been there two decades ahead of us. Dried mango is in the 50s, is already present in Cebu. But uh, we just, I would say we are more creative. We redo all the packaging. We are the first one to go to laminated plastic rather than the ordinary plastic. We're the first one to guarantee our, our product to pass all government regulation. We are the first one to offer whole year round supply. We are the first one to give them a one-stop shop, not only dried fruits, but now to all, almost every product you can think of if it's mango. But you're referring to the export market. You were, did you really target exporting from the very start? At the very start, I targeted the local market. But I found it difficult to penetrate because it was too crowded too crowded and the you know the pioneers are there already so very small room for me to grow so that's the reason why i thought we have to go to export when it's a wide market we can grow uh, sky's, sky's the limit, the limit. Mm. yeah even when you were young you were thinking big yeah actually one reason maybe is because I was given the chance to even travel to Japan by Jetro, that's a Japan external trade, and I've seen their industry. We are 30 years behind, so I was thinking one day we have to cope up, we have to be at par with them. How old were you in 1978 when you started? I was 19 years old at that time. Yeah, I was in my second year college. You dropped out of college? No, I finished my college instead of five years, eight years. <laughs> because oh, because I'm, you were I'm a full-time working and I'm studying a chemical engineering course. Because when I'm studying, I'm partly already doing R&D on what to build on my plant. That's why I took up chemical engineering also. Yeah, so whatever I learn in school, a lot are being input in this factory. It was not the vast potential of the dried fruit business that drew Justin Uy into the industry. But the small capital requirement for a startup, so he and his brother James began together as partners, but failed. Paano po nagfail? Bakit nagfail? It's because we don't have the technology, we don't have the facility, so we're drying under the sun. We don't even have a sealing machine before. We use a candle to seal it, so it's all trial and error. So we learn our lesson. That's why when I say I'm in my second year college. That's why we make it into an R&D time to learn what is the right way to do it. So despite that failure, you persevered on your own? 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this is all yours. It's not all <laughs> mine. It's uh, because where the company is growing, I still invite all my siblings to come in. Because for me, to help people, number one is your own people. Yeah. So we have 11 siblings. Eight of them are all working for me now. So we we work harmoniously. Now we have Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. So they're co-owners not your employees. You offer them shares. Yeah, that's right. That's quite generous of you. I think that's the only way that uh, God will... Uh, Bless you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the risk was wholly yours. Yeah, it was really big risk because... But as I always tell my second generation, when you're young, risk is nothing. You can always get up again and move on. And also, failure will always be your uh, stepping block for your next success. Because even like in Pro Food, when I started the first three years, and the next ten years, and the next ten years, it's all different. This rolling facility in Cebu, where they first began, now boasts of a mango tour and a mango museum. Far cry from their humble beginnings 35 years ago. Do you remember your first taste of success? Was it you exporting to Hong Kong? We made a first shipment of 100 cartons to Hong Kong. Yeah, after three years of failure, 78, 79, 80, and then finally in 80, we were able to ship out the first, and I know we can, uh, we can do it. And yours, you say that your product has not changed much when it comes to mangoes, no? Yung texture, yung taste. From the original formulation, it have not changed much. What it have changed is the way how it was produced. But the formulation is the same. Before, I can produce 10 kilos in good quality. But when it comes to producing 100 tons with the same quality, it's, it's something, it's a challenge. So what we're doing now is producing 1,000 tons with the same 10 kilos quality. In 1980, you had the best recipe already. I mean, it was, you didn't change it much. It was, you hit it. Yeah. How? By trial and error, tasting by ourselves, thinking this is, there's no perfect recipe, no matter what. Some will say too sweet or some will say too sour. No. There's no perfect, but if you get the majority, if you get the market, what market you want to target, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Today, ProFood's products are on the supermarket shelves of Costco and Walmart in the United States and in more than 40 countries around the world. Next on People. Philippines have not a, such a good name. You know, in the 80s, Manila are all kidnappings and uh, we are known to be poor, dirty. So I want to create something 